Hey, welcome to Flucatronic. What you've been listening to is a Native American style flute with a very unusual tuning. Uh, this is the Megan Avat tuning from uh, Brad Young at Four Winds Flutes. So there's a seven hole flute, six on the front and one in the back in the key of E. Playing for me today, maybe it's a little cool in the studio. This is playing for me for at a, a lower pitch reference, closer to like a 432 reference than 440. Uh, which is not a problem, but that's uh, the case this, this morning at least. So I was playing to my tuner to try to make sure I was in tune. So uh, Brad goes to uh, great care to balance the octaves on this. So um, you can see I was able to get at least five notes um, without special tricks. Very easy just running up and down the scale. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And can get a couple of other notes in the third register. Um, those are a little bit hit or, from, hit or miss for me so far, but uh, there are some extra notes uh, way up to the top there even. So uh, if you've been watching the channel, I recently posted a video about a uh, lower key C rim blown Megan Avat flute from Carl Young. Um, and that flute prompted me to look around for other uh, makers with this style and found this from Brad. So I'll give you a couple of links to um, some other videos from uh, other folks that have uh, tried this flute. And this is just a really neat tuning, really neat flute to have this in a Native American style with, um, so you don't have to worry so much about, uh, you know, the, the rim blown embouchure. It's just a really cool package. And uh, I mentioned in that video, I'll mention it again, that I'll, I'll do a kind of a deeper dive into the music theory behind this. Um, but it's just a very versatile flute, um, and without getting into the theory, you can just do a lot with it. Uh, depending on which hole you choose as your root note, you can just get very different sounding uh, scales out of this with very little effort. Um, you can get that exotic uh, kind of Jewish Middle Eastern uh, sound that we heard in, in the opening there by treating the uh, all holes closed, you know, treating that as your root note. If you kind of ignore that and go from the second, then you get actually get a natural minor scale. Going from the third hole, you get a different minor scale, uh, actually called a Locrian mode, but we'll get into that later. And then if you just go from the left hand, you get a major scale. So let's look at all those. Um, we already saw the kind of the making of that one. Let's look at the other options here. So it's natural minor scale. Up another one, you get the uh, Locrian, which is also a little bit exotic. Let's see what that sounds like.
uh, and then major scale. So yeah, very versatile, and we haven't even gotten into half holes and, and cross fingerings. So looking forward to exploring uh, this flute further in upcoming videos. Um, but for now, let's uh, just close this one out with a little more improv on the Megan and Vod scale. All right, thanks for watching.